We are so excited to be bringing you along with us on our latest adventure. We're boarding the NCL Spirit in Sydney, Australia and setting sail to beautiful New Zealand with some incredible stops along the way. This is going to be our fourth time cruising with NCL, but it'll be our first time on board the Spirit. We'll be spending 12 nights on board, exploring all the amenities and activities and taking in the stunning views from our balcony room. You will not believe all the amazing things that this ship has to offer. The Norwegian Spirit just underwent a $100 million renovation and it shows. This 12 night adventure sets sails from Sydney, Australia and explores a total of 11 different destinations in Australia and New Zealand, including our departure port. After checking out our suite, we headed to the back of the ship to enjoy the views of Sydney as we embark on our journey. Next stop, Melbourne. We didn't book an excursion for Melbourne since we wanted to spend our day soaking up as much of the city as possible. Here's what we decided to fill our day with. on back-to-back -back sea days across the Tasman Sea. Sea days are honestly some of the best. We love them because it gives us a chance to slow down and really enjoy the ship and everything it has to offer. Exactly. We like to try and establish a routine on board. We start our sea days with a good workout in the gym. The panoramic ocean views on the treadmills are amazing and it really sets us up for a great day ahead. After that, we usually head down and get a big breakfast, you know, eggs, bacon, waffles, ice cream if you're into that. All the good stuff. And that's pretty much it. Every day is different for us. Here's some of the shenanigans that goes on on board, but honestly, we just never get bored. There's truly so much to do, and NCL does a great job with entertainment and pretty much anything you can want on board for the next two days. We're not working hard every day. How do you expect <laughs> to be a beautiful Disney princess? <laughs> you me a gremlin. <laughs> You're sitting there crouching on the freaking bed, drinking your Starbucks coffee like it's a sippy cup. <laughs> 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 Think your <coffee> <laughs> so today we're sailing in between a bunch of fjords in New Zealand. We woke up and we looked out our window and we saw just like the craziest view ever. We are currently sailing through one of the most anticipated experiences on our cruise, the Fiordland Sounds in southern New Zealand. These natural wonders are often called the eighth wonder of the world, and we can definitely see why. We are spending a whole day sailing through Milford, Doubtful, and Dusky Sound, surrounded by the towering peaks, cascading waterfalls, and the most stunning scenery you can imagine. These fjords were formed by glaciers thousands of years ago, and they're home to a unique underwater world with exotic creatures that I didn't even know exist, such as black coral and giant sponges. 
sailing through the fjords on a massive ship like the Spirit was absolutely mind blowing. Can't show you the room right now, it's a little messy. <laughs> Colin's excited to go see the sound. Absolutely go. exhilarated. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. Let's go. The weather here is absolutely insane as well. One minute it's sunny and beautiful, and the next it's pouring rain with wind so strong we feel like we could be ripped off the ship. But honestly, it just adds to the dramatic beauty of the Fjordland. London, New Zealand. We're at our first stop of the day, which is Tunnel Beach. There's this really cool archway that you kind of walk out to. We're going down the trail. I'm not sure how many miles it is. It doesn't feel like more than a mile. I think my knees might, <laughs> might hurt at the end, but it looks absolutely incredible. our excursion which was a high country explorer uh, we were at the port Littleton today and we took like a two-hour bus trek into the high country where we did a little bit of a bus tour and we are now at Alpine Jet Thrills you can hear one in the back right now uh, these are jet boats that go up and down the river and they are absolutely insane that was literally so crazy we just got in the jet boat and then we went zero to 100 so fast apparently there's only like four inches of water in some places in the river but because jet boats have nothing underneath them it just propels water out the back it glides over top and we were just whipping around yeah we were doing 360s and all kinds of stuff down this river we're just sitting there in the front seat trying not to get wet with like the 360 cam five feet in the air <laughs> We're pumped full of endorphins right now. Oh yeah, it was a blast. And here, I'll turn this around so you can see the river. Over here, and going up the river. And this is relatively wide in comparison to some of the bits that we went down. So here's some footage of the jet boat.
doing, man? I'm so sorry. <laughs> We just arrived in Wellington, the capital city of New Zealand, and we're excited to explore all this vibrant city has to offer. Wellington is known for the stunning harbour views, thriving art scene, and diverse culture. Today, we decided to take it easy and soak up the local city by visiting a thrift store, grabbing a coffee at a cafe, and strolling through the colourful and quirky Cuba Street. We're loving the laid-back vibes of Wellington, and it's the perfect way to spend our port day here. If you're looking for more to do in Wellington, we've heard great things about visiting the Zealandia Eco Sanctuary for a unique ecotourism experience. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also try your hand at windsurfing or kiteboarding in the waters of Lyle Bay. The city is known for being incredibly windy. From my experience, one of the windiest places that I've ever been. Today, we went on an amazing excursion to Cape Kidnappers Bay, which is located near the port of Napier, New Zealand. Cape Kidnappers is home to one of the largest and most accessible Gannet colonies in the world, with thousands of these beautiful seabirds nestling in the cliffs in the rocks along the coastline. The Gannets at Cape Kidnappers are known for their distinct mating ritual, where they will point their beaks to the sky and perform a synchronized dance. We saw a lot of that. Our excursion with NTL was led by expert guides and included a few stops along the incredible coastline, stunning views. We even got to see some fluffy Gannet chicks up close. In all, it was a very chill day, which was a great way to relax because we had been running around like crazy. Um, and we finished it up with some tea in the countryside before heading back on board. All right, what's up? We are on a lake in New Zealand. We hopped in our kayak and now we are going to go to some hot springs and um, a cave that has glow worms in it. I'm pretty excited. We packed up like all of our camera gear in the dry compartment of these kayaks. So fingers crossed that nothing happens, but nothing bad will happen. It's a bit of a cloudy day, but it doesn't matter. The water is so clear and the temperature is like perfect. It's like 72 degrees. Actually the third largest lake in the area, and there's about eight of them. But um, very, very popular during the summer season on nice days, should I say, with jet skiing, skiing. Wakeboarding, lots of fishing happening as well. Plenty of holiday homes, and you can see so most of these homes are empty for the for the whole winter and uh, just occupied during the summer. I don't know about you guys, but if I owned a place like that, I'd be in it 24 7. A pretty magical place. From here, though, team, we are going to follow the coastline, skip around a few of the bays, and go find one of our uh, secret little blowworm caves, and then hopefully, we this, you guys will get to check out a few blowworms and then zip across and have a soak and a feed and the hot pools. If you look straight across the lake, you can see there's a white roof on the other side of the lake. That is the thermal hot springs. We're at Manaparua Hot Springs, that's where we're going to be going. It's the oldest commercially operated hot springs in New Zealand. So the water just feeds straight out of the ground and they feed it into the pools. Really, really cool place. The Māori used to use it for healing and cooking and stuff like that. That is only accessible by a boat or kayak. So you guys are experiencing something that probably nobody else on board your cruise ship is going to experience. It's pretty cool. On our last day of the itinerary, we stopped at the Bay of Islands located on the northern coast of New Zealand. The Bay of Islands is made up of more than 140 subtropical islands and is famous for the crystal clear waters, golden beaches, and diverse marine wildlife. One of the highlights of our day was the Hole in the Rock, which is a stunning natural archway that's carved into the side of an island. 
We signed up for a two-hour boat tour with NCO, which took us right up to the hole in the rock for an up-close view. Next up, we're embarking on a jam-packed week-long road trip from North Island to South Island. So stay tuned for more exciting adventures. If you like this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our travels. Overall, sailing with Norwegian Cruise Line has become one of our favorite ways to explore the world. And this trip has definitely checked so many things off of our bucket list. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.